Human beings have a hard time thinking in three dimensions. Now, no, this is not a slinky. It's called a Toro Flux. You can actually get them on eBay for like $17. If you were actually to look down the center, you would see the exact same hypertrochoidal pattern that's found on the ferrocell, the ferrocell that defines magnetism. Now, if we were to replace the plane of inertia with the acceleration that we conventionally call gravity, and actually drive this device. Now it's not sliding down the pole, it's actually spinning. So why is it spinning? We talk about field lines, but a field doesn't have any lines. These are conventional expressions that we use to define things that we don't understand. Everything is pressure mediation. So what is it about the toroidal or donut shaped Toroflux, which also represents the spatial geometry of magnetism. What is it that defines that? Why is it spinning? Human beings can't actually define a vortex. If you actually go looking for the definition of a vortex, there actually isn't even an accurate definition of a vortex. Actually, the only person that kind of accurately described a vortex was uh, Walter Russell. So all I'm doing is replacing the energy mesmerizing huh everybody should actually have one of these they should give it to their kids and of course it folds down completely flat and you can stick it in your jacket pocket and you could uh, nerd out you now people that don't have uh, an intellectually inquiring mind they'll actually look at it and roll their eyes like you're a pathetic child or something as sometimes people have done to me but what about the spatial and counterspatial geometry? We're actually replacing the uh, hyperboloid or the hourglass shape, which is a negative uh, image of uh, the torus, in this case of the toroflux. And we're using that energy as an alternative, which would be inertia, replacing it with mere acceleration, the mere weight of this toroflux as it's accelerating towards a lower pressure gradient. What's a lower pressure gradient? Well, when I raise this pole up, obviously, it's starting to accelerate towards a lower pressure gradient. Or what you'd conventionally call gravity, right? Gravity is just dielectric acceleration. So why does this spin? Why? What is it about the toroidal geometry that causes it to create a vortex what defines the vortex? The spatial and counterspatial geometry. What is the conjugate geometry that defines all field geometry? Ask a simple question about why this spins when it rolls down this tube, and people will actually be stumped. Anyway, I think everybody should have one of these. They should give it to their child because it's important for human beings to think uh, three dimensionally and uh, people are not want to do that.